On Saturday, I dropped this video. Now, if you didn't see it, here's a brief synopsis. I was around the top of the custom ranked leaderboard. I decided to risk some ELO by changing my pack to implement toy pets. Now, I knew I would lose, but I thought long term it would make a really strong pack once I figured it out. And I claim that people should be scared. Well, the results are in. And they're not good. Okay, before anything else, I want to look first at why this doesn't work in custom ranked. Other teams, the best teams, push for tempo early as much as they can. If you control the tempo, you're limiting how creative and or how much your opponent can build. So people use the early meta units and then late game, they either push for summons, often it's beluga, stork, etc. Or it's sniping, lionfish, etc. Whatever. The problem with this strategy is that it takes a long time to build. You need really lucky turn five and seven level ups. Then you need to work in chameleon and other pets and you give away the tempo. And while during that time where you've given that tempo away, other teams are building and you need perfect luck, perfect level ups to actually beat the top teams by doing this. In the original video on Saturday, I said this, that I wanna keep the essence of the original pack that I was winning with but I'm gonna go through a period of growth and work in these toy pets. The problem with that, the problem is that even if you get really cute, mongoose, chameleon, stingray, chameleon, coconuts, death touch, stats, television, even if you do that, you still lose to a fully scaled or fully uh, operating summon team. That's just the truth of the matter. Now, where did we end up after all of that? We went from 1890 all the way down to 1710. This cost me everything. Uh, do I regret it? Not really. Like I learned a lot and it was pretty fun, especially initially doing this whole process. And now I can earn it back properly over time. Um, anyway, look, to close off this video, I was planning to show a run against a strong opponent featuring the toy pets. What ended up happening was me recording for two and a half hours and losing my mind. So instead of that, I'm gonna show you a run where I versed a lower rated opponent who was actually trying to do toys as well. So it's kind of a fun battle. I am not, I repeat, I am not playing optimally here, but I was just trying to have a bit of fun. This will be the end of my saga. I think I'm actually gonna move away from customs for a while after this. So anyway, here's the run. We can have some fun. Uh, and I'll go back to arena runs and maybe I'll have a peek at a different ranked mode. We'll see. All right, here's the footage. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. While trying to record this video, it's taken me over two hours. And I've got to, I've got enough wins, but nothing that quite features the toys the way I want to. Maybe this is the one. This is only like the second guy I've played. That is below 1500 since I started recording. And I've had some wins, but not the ones I want. So maybe this is the one, I hope. So let's um let's talk about it for a second. Should you have Stingray, Chameleon, and maybe even Gario in your pack? The answer for me is a fat yes. Hell yeah, dude. I think you should have these toy pets in your pack, but should you build your pack around it? I would strongly advise no. No! Speaking of no, we lose by one. I'm down to four. Really wanted to see Pug. Didn't see it. Painful. Painful, painful. However, it is nice to have four, four worth of stats sitting in these little mice. Yeah, I like to reflect. I learned the lesson the hard way. The toy pets just aren't that viable as we draw. This guy's running a uh, hedgehog, which you don't really see in customs. Great tempo here. You are a toy pet, but not the one I'm looking for. Yes. I'll honestly take Pug at this point. So I'm, I am going to run meta enough to allow the toy pets later. 
He's got a Gario. He's gonna lose by one. Um, so how do you do this? I think I'm actually gonna move off both of you now. Your job is done. Okay, let's think about it. I think I'll just do it like this. Because Foam Sword's going to kill one of my Blobfish anyway, so who cares? Good statage. Yo, Chameleon, I'm actually versing someone using toys! Oh god, it shows why his ELO is the way it is though. This man's trying to have fun like me. Doesn't work. Start here. Give me the toys. We have a toy battle. A hot toy battle right now. Be patient. Okay. I'm going sicko mode, man. I'm going big beluga. <laughs> With some toys in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I, I, James, I love what you're doing, man. This is a feel-good story. Like, can I say, after just trying toys, and it's been like banging my head against a wall, while other people are just running, um, like, clownfish, jellyfish, pug, like I'm doing right now, nothing but this, or summons, it's nice to, uh, it's nice to verse something different. Let's go flashlight. Roll once. I'm actually gonna... Actually, I won't. It's nice to actually have a toy battle right now. He hasn't bought in another toy. He still has his thing. His, uh, chameleon. We could draw? My guy, James. Oh, you've actually... This has been a nice morale boost. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go away from customs for a bit after this. I've... It's done... It's done my head in. As... Let's actually level up the chameleon. And let's put some stats on it. Thank you. I love you, wife. <laughs> um, yo, let's, let's stat up this chameleon. 100%. It's staying in the team. Give me another stingray. Don't get it. No, trust me. The beluga play will come. Just relax. We're having fun. He's on three. Yeah, take some stats. You're not getting peeled today, Chameleon. Oh, this is the good stuff. Television. Really want something for this beluga. <laughs> what direction are we going? Let's go! Keep drawing, James! Alright. Laughing time is over. It's been fun while it lasted. Flying Squirrel. Just to make sure we keep it. Now, you could, like, peel, obviously, but I'm having more fun doing this. Oh, yeah, this is the good stuff right here. Toy battle? Ah, uh, he needs, uh, he must be looking for a Gario. Yep. So he's on two, so the flying squirrel can go. You could bring in, like, uh, you could bring in, like, coconut from this, but... I think I have bigger dreams. Should we just, like, stop mucking around and win? I think we just should. Uh, one up on the chameleon. 
Now, there's, like, Mosasaurus potential, but we're not going to do it. I was actually... I, I was kind of hoping I had a run where it was, like, a really close one against a good player. Just to show, like, that you can win doing this, but it's not ideal. Nice try. But look, this is like... This will do, I guess, in a sense. This will be the last game. Yo, should we go sicko mode? <laughs> oh, this right here... Is my pretty boy jam. Now, just don't kill my pteranodon, please. Please. I'm not asking that much. Just don't kill my pteranodon and let's see the television stats fly. No! Oh! oh, he's got foam sword, of course. Still, stats. Stat me. You hit. I get more stats. <laughs> Yay, good job, James. 